you've got me. You don't need other friends. I want you to be with me, just me. Come on, David, you're being silly. Julie, I mean it. I want you to be with me all the time. And if you're not with me, I want to know where you are and who you're with. Do you understand me? Then the kids came along and life got complicated. Life does that. At first it was one-offs. His temper would flare and he'd lash out. I put it down to stress, tiredness. I made excuses. But then it got worse. You sent our two children to the shop alone? Too lazy to go yourself? Or were you too busy bitching about me to your friend? No, they wanted to go. It's not late and it's only down the road. I thought it would be okay. Thought? Thought? That's your problem, you never bloody think. You're so pathetic. Um. Girls, come give your dad a hug. Look at what you made me do. This is all your fault. This is all your fault. You're so bloody pathetic. If you weren't such a waste of space, this wouldn't happen. Nothing, officer. There's been a misunderstanding. So this is your fault then? What? What's my fault? That this place is a bloody tip and that the girls are lying about doing bugger all. What? It's not mum's fault. It's no one's fault this place isn't a mess. Did you just talk back to me again? No, leave her alone. You! This is all your fault. You call yourself a mother. You can't even look after yourself, let alone these two good for nothing brats. Leave mum alone! You! You're more like your mother than I thought. Oh. You're a bitch! This is all your fault. Daddy, no, stop, please. Look at what you made me do! If you'd like to go to a refuge, we can take you there. Do you have any questions so far? No.